hey y'all welcome to my channel if you are new welcome if you're not new then welcome back so today's video i will be telling you all five of my top five things that you must have when starting a wig business this is as far as like equipment product wise not on the back end as far as like how much money to have and how many bundles you need etc i'll make more videos on that later on down the line but this video specifically is when you are just starting a wig business these are the must-haves that you need to run your wig business because how are you going to do anything without these things so if you want to know what those five things are make sure you are watching this video all the way to the end and make sure to subscribe to my channel as well and give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting and let's get into this video so the first thing you will need is of course like how are you going to do anything without a dome head now when you are getting your dome head from the beauty supply store or amazon i got mine specifically from amazon when you are getting them make sure to not get the other kind of dome head i wish i still had it around but i don't i threw it away a long time ago but i will probably insert a picture to what i'm talking about but make sure you do not get that kind of dome head because your wig measurement and everything will be off that dome head is shaped so funny like somebody just molded it and smashed it and molded it again so don't get that kind make sure to get the gex if you could or get something like this also make sure that you have all the sizes that you would need as far as the 21 22 and the 23 now if you don't have the funds to get all of them at the same time just get the 22 because the 22 is the standard head size that you would need that is the standard head size for 90 percent of wigs that you will make but make sure to get the different sizes along the way because one size does not fit all. The beauty supply store doesn't sell these kinds. So I've been to most of them unless you're in different states, city or whatever. They might. But as far as in Memphis, baby, Memphis ain't got them. So go Amazon. Okay. This mannequin head specifically is a little more better than that one because this one gives you more of a look as to how your wigs will look on the person. This is what will make you your money. So when you are posting like your product pictures and everything on your social media, which you should be doing, I'll make a video on that too. But when you are posting your product pictures and everything, this is what the clients look for because they want the most realistic thing they can look for as far as how the wig will look on the person so this is so important as well if you don't have enough that's okay you can stick to that child okay don't be trying to ball out when you first start your business because if you don't have you don't have it okay so but later on down the line make sure to get this if you don't have it when first starting the next thing that you would need is a tripod which is something to hold your head on you can't just be holding the mannequin thing in your lap you won't get much done with that so make sure that you have a tripod or a, um, a wig stand to go with the wig head also amazon has that if you are looking for that as well so the next thing that you would need is a sewing machine okay this is my sewing machine right here this is a singer a singer duty a singer heavy duty machine now i will say this you don't need a sewing machine to start. When I first started making wigs, I had needle and thread, baby. Okay, yeah. I just had needle and thread and I was making it do what it do. So if you are not um, comfortable with the sewing machine, don't get it, okay? Don't, don't be so quick to hop on the trends that you see. Do what works best for you, okay? So yeah, but if you can invest in a sewing machine because the longevity of the wigs and the construction looks so much better and lasts so much longer than a hand stitch wig. But like I said, people will buy if they want to buy. So if you have needle and thread, use needle and thread until you're able to get you a sewing machine. Number three, what you would need is your products. Of course, how are you going to do anything without your product? All right, so I have four products that I use on mostly all of my wigs every single time. So if you follow me on social media, you already know most of them that I'm about to tell you. But if you don't, that's why I'm here. The first thing is the Sebastian Shaper Plus. And this is like a holding spray for my curls. The original price for this spray is like $20. Yeah, for this can. So if you can, go to like your local TJ Maxx, Ross, um, Marshalls, and it'll be like $10. So save save you some money, sis. Okay, don't be balling out on these products if you can get them for the low low. Don't take all of them off the shelf because I need some, okay? So yeah, that is one thing I use second thing i use is mousse whole lot of body mousse if you were in hair school 
or if your auntie did hair a while ago, you know this go this smooths go way back. Y'all need my nails done. I'm getting them done soon, so I don't mind my nails. This is the mousse that I use on my baby hairs on on the top of my wigs. Like I said, this is just to help the flyaways, but mainly for the baby hair. This thing I use is a wax stick. So yeah, this is my wax stick. I do have this on sale as well. The link will be in the description box if you want to purchase you one. This wax stick um, can last you forever literally um with me making about five wigs in a day i still have my first wax stick since i've launched which was months ago so if you only got two wigs at home imagine how long this wax stick will last you that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say but this is good to have your wig flat fly away give it a little shine at the top wax sticks are a very essential when customizing wigs or maintaining your wig at home to keep it flat and how it should be okay it is almost 2023 there's no need to have no bumpy wig at the top of your head sis okay that's that's why i'm here to help me and you help me help you help me help you one of my last products that i go by i live by bio silk if you know you know if you don't know i'm putting you on game silk therapy baby and it's literally silk therapy in a bottle this product will have your wig on sleek shiny and is and it doesn't overweigh your hair because a lot of products are so heavy and weighs your hair down but this product right here you good girl you good this this product is so good i've been using bio silk for years and it lasts a long time as well this is all that like y'all i got this bottle months ago, almost half a year ago and look at how much i still have left like yeah I want to say this bottle was maybe around $20 as well, but this $20 lasts a long, long, sorry y'all. This $20 lasts a long, 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 long time. So BioSilk is where it's at. Okay, so those are my top four favorite products that I use on mostly all of my wigs. The next thing you would need is of course a cell phone. How are you going to showcase your work? expand your business grow your clientele with no cell phone how are you going to take your pictures because you need pictures 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 and videos pictures and videos are the number one way to grow your business okay so you can't do that with a laptop ipad i mean you, okay you can kind of pass with the ipad but you get what i'm saying you need a phone you need a phone and personally nothing against the android community personally i would say invest in an iphone iphone camera quality is top notch good and instagram tiktok all these social media platforms they like good quality high quality video so if it's blurry dark in the background etc they're not gonna put your video out there so help yourself and invest in an iphone and yeah just just invest in your business invest in the iphone because it will be worth it in the long run your videos will look good top quality the editing apps and everything they have is like so good if not just get you a top quality android phone i don't know the kind of android phones that they have out there but i'm pretty sure they have one that's pretty good in the market so just get you a nice phone to post your videos um post post your business page make you a little business page or whatever and go from there the last thing that you would need to start your wig business is faith if y'all thought i was gonna leave this video without talking about some faith something positive something that can help someone um yeah i'm here for that you gotta believe that you can do it you have to believe that you can accomplish the goals that you have set for yourself and that god has set for you also if, if it's in god's will do it but if you just in it for the money if you just in it for what you see and other people receive from it and you don't genuinely want to do it you might not see as much you know what i'm saying so just know that you are going to put your all into it and know that you are going to continue on and stay consistent even when you have no sales or even when your sales are low even when you get them chargebacks even when you get the bad reviews just stay stick the course and just know that at the end of the day you are doing this because god has sent you to do it uh, there were many times i wanted to just you know what I'm done with wigs, but now I'm sitting here today telling you don't be so quick to give up because something so minor 
at that moment it might seem major but later on down the line it's it's you looking back like that wasn't nothing compared to now you know what i'm saying so i'm here to tell you stay consistent and stick the course keep the faith and know god will make all things work for your good with that being said i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you got something from it so and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and give this video a thumbs up if you learned from it oh so i will see y'all in my next video bye